On September 6, 2023, the U.S. Army announced its decision to halt the ongoing upgrades of the M1A2 Abrams main battle tank. Instead, the Army has initiated the development of a new armored platform, referred to as the M1E3 Abrams, with the objective of addressing the evolving requirements of future battlefields, particularly those expected to emerge beyond the year 2040. This shift away from the M1A2 System Enhancement Package Version 4 SEPV4, aligns with the Army's commitment to implementing essential capability improvements in preparation for potential threats on future battlefields. The Army's official statement indicates that the M1E3 Abrams is anticipated to achieve its initial operational capability in the early 2030s. This timeframe coincides with growing concerns surrounding evolving warfare scenarios, as exemplified by recent events such as the conflict in Ukraine. Major Gen. Glenn Dean, the Program Executive Officer for Ground Combat Systems, stressed the critical importance of integrating protections for soldiers, drawing from insights gained in recent conflicts, including the war in Ukraine. The increased utilization of loitering munitions and kamikaze drones in these conflicts underscores the necessity for built-in protective measures within armored vehicles. Brig General Jeffrey Norman, Director of the Next Generation Combat Vehicle Cross-Functional Team, acknowledged the unique challenges posed by the changing dynamics of recent conflicts. He emphasized the paramount significance of optimizing the mobility and survivability of the Abrams to ensure its continued effectiveness on forthcoming battlefields. The development of the M1E3 Abrams will incorporate the most advantageous features of the M1A2 SEP V.4 while adhering to the latest modular open systems architecture standards. This approach is expected to streamline technology upgrades and reduce resource requirements. The primary objective is to create a more survivable and lightweight tank, one that not only enhances its effectiveness upon initial deployment but also provides increased adaptability to meet evolving threats. This modernization initiative is expected to bolster the effectiveness and maneuverability of armored brigade combat teams on a global scale, achieved by reducing sustainment demands and improving operational and tactical mobility. As part of the transition process, the Army will continue limited production of the M1A2 SEP V.3 until production fully shifts to the M1E3 Abrams. Additionally, critical technologies will be carried forward into the SEP V4 Abrams modernization program. The Abrams M1A2 SEP V.4, also known as the M1A2D, represents the latest iteration within the Abrams M1A2 family of tanks. Positioned as an upgrade to the M1A2 Abrams CPV. 3. It introduces several improved capabilities and features while maintaining a structural layout similar to its predecessor, with the driver situated at the front of the hull, the turret in the middle section, and the engine located at the rear. The Abrams M1A2 SEP V.4 is armed with a 120mm M256 smoothbore gun, capable of firing various types of rounds, including high-explosive anti-tank, heat, and armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding SABO APFSDS, ammunition. Supplementary armament comprises a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, mounted to the right of the main gun, and a remotely operated weapon station situated on the turret roof armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. The tank also incorporates smoke grenade launchers on each side of the turret, which serve to create a protective smoke screen to obscure the tank's movements from enemy observation. The M1A2 SEP V.4 introduces a range of new equipment and enhancements. Firstly, the implementation of a digital battlefield management system enhances both situational awareness and networking capabilities. Additionally, the integration of third-generation, 3-gen, forward-looking infrared FLIR, technology represents a significant advancement, greatly improving target identification capabilities for tank crews. Moreover, the tank boasts upgraded power generation capabilities, thanks to the incorporation of an auxiliary power unit APU, and the introduction of a new power distribution system. These enhancements contribute to the tank's overall efficiency and operational readiness. Furthermore, the M1A2 SEP V.4 features enhanced armor protection, 
with improved armor packages applied to both the hull and turret, bolstering crew safety and tank durability. Another noteworthy upgrade is found in the fire control and targeting systems, which now include a new third-generation thermal imaging system and an advanced laser rangefinder. These improvements enhance the tank's precision and effectiveness on the battlefield. Lastly, the driver experiences improved functionality with an upgraded display and control system, featuring a new color display and enhanced controls, ensuring greater ease of operation and navigation.